Hey, what's up going on everybody? Uh, this is Gabriel Santos from gfsantos.com. Also the author of Marijuana Mindfulness, uh, the ebook which you can find on Amazon. In this video, I'm gonna share with you what it's been like ever since I quit smoking weed every day. Um, and just to clarify what that title, what that means is, I no longer smoke every day, uh, but I still smoke. And, but it's, it's very different in terms of frequency as well as um, intention. So in terms of frequency, I smoke uh, about once a month, um, and sometimes it's CBD-based marijuana uh, as opposed to THC. Um, and in terms of how and why I smoke, um, instead of it being just kind of like this entertainment tool or an even uh, a distraction or even my way of relaxing, um, I use it mostly as a reward, either a reward or kind of like a super, super last resort to, um, you know, dealing with anxiety and stress, but it's mostly, mostly out of reward. Um, and so what it's been like really, um, it's been great to be honest. Um, and that's just because in terms of my personal goals and my personal value systems, smoking weed every day was no longer in alignment with my soul, to be honest. And if you're watching this, my assumption is that you're someone who is either who smokes every day um, or has recently decided to quit or alter the way they smoke and you want to know um, maybe some, some hope or optimistic uh, perspective on what it's like when you stop smoking every day. So if that is you, you know, you just, you just stopped um, or, or you've changed the way you smoke, I want to let you know that it's all good. You know, whatever you're experiencing, whether it's some withdrawal syndrome or, or you know, maybe just like angst, you know, or whatever, uh, it's all good. And that it is so worth it to stick to whatever plan you created for yourself. Um, and so yeah, I, let, me, let me just say maybe like three top benefits for this video. Three top benefits of, of not smoking every day. Um, uh, the first number one big benefit is just that voice in your head, in my head at least, that was just like, you know, are we gonna smoke weed today? Are we not gonna smoke weed? And that same voice that kind of would needle at me um, judging me for smoking as often as I did, that voice no longer exists. Uh, I don't deal with the back and forth conversation in my head about smoking weed today or not. Um, and as well as the emotions, you know, the, the tension, the sometimes depression, you know, because when you say you're not going to smoke one day, but you still smoke, that's that can be depressing. Uh, I'm not even being exaggerative. That can be very sad uh, because in essence when a person doesn't do what they say they're going to do time after time after time again you lose confidence in your ability to make things happen um, and so if you can't prevent yourself from doing one thing in this case weed then it's going to be hard to get yourself to either not do something else in life or to do something else um, so that's the first thing number two is um I just feel more authentic in general with people. Like I'm not hiding something anymore. I'm not hiding the fact that I'm smoking weed more than I, I want to. I'm not um, choosing to smoke weed instead of, you know, be with people or, you know what I'm saying? Um, and vice versa, quitting never worked for me. Guys, I want you to understand that. Quitting weed never worked for me um, in terms of helping me get the solutions that I'm sharing with you right now um, and so I can still own the fact that I love weed and that I still do it but I do it in a way that supports the rest of my life and, and the way that I want to grow and am growing um, on a daily basis so yeah and number three <clears throat> um, it's freed up a lot of time space and energy that was not available when weed was the center of my life. 
Um, Because that's really what it was, guys. Like, weed was... Getting high was the purpose of my life. And I'm not saying that every person who smokes weed every day, that's their purpose in life. Um, Not at all. That was just my purpose. But I, I know some people who are watching this can relate to that. And so... When I changed my focus from smoking weed every day to, you know, growing as a person every day, um, things just changed, you know. I, I, um, when, you're, when I'm stoned, I can't really perform at a high level in life. So once I stopped getting stoned every day and was more clear-minded, um, I was able to actually do things I wanted to do, whether it's exercise, whether it's um, start planning a future, um, things like that. Uh, in terms of energy, oh man, like, you know, weed is a, weed, uh, weed is a depressant in terms of its chemical effects. And so, you know, at least when I smoke weed, I would be tired afterwards uh, and groggy, you know, um, and just in general kind of lethargic. And then in terms of money, God, like, in the eight years I was smoking, I was probably I probably I spent well over ten thousand dollars. I imagine I feel like that's pretty typical, right? You buy like a dub sack every week. That's twenty bucks a week, close to a hundred bucks a month times twelve, right? That's that's twelve hundred twelve hundred a year minimum, right? Sometimes more than that. Not to include all the pipes I either broke or threw away or lost and bought more. Not including the lighters. Not including the gas it took me to drive to a dispensary, you know what I'm saying? Um, so as, as one would imagine, um, by changing a habit such as smoking weed every day, it has brought many positive effects. Um, I'll say this though, uh, just because you quit doing something or you change a habit doesn't necessarily mean that your life is going to look positive or have positive changes like mine did. Um, and so uh, what I'm saying here is that the person who made all this happen was me, right? It's not because it's not the action of quitting weed that made this happen. It was me making the decision to quit weed and me making the decision to plan my life and me making the decision to exercise. So it's not automatic. I think that's like, that kind of goes along with the whole, like, what's the magic pill? What's the magic answer? The magic answer is to take action. I'm going to just be honest. Um, if you really want to just be honest, like, how do I take my slipper off? Uh, you, you do this, right? That's how you take that off. How do you stop smoking? You go from doing that to doing that. It's very, you know, but I get it, guys. Like, with the, <laughs> the mind gets all... F- Flucked, flustered and like twisted up and then your emotions get all twisted up and then the stress that comes from your job and your girlfriend and your boyfriend and your your homework and money and then and then you have these insecurities that came from when you were six years old and and they get triggered and you gotta smoke weed and then when you smoke weed you're like oh god what the fuck's wrong with me yeah just two hours ago i said i was gonna quit like i get it it's it's a fucking tangled mess and uh, if you're in the midst of your own personal kind of battle with, with marijuana use, I highly recommend you buy my book, um, Marijuana Mindfulness, Transcend the Addiction Cycle and Gain Ultimate Self-Control. It's only $3 on Amazon. Um, and really, honestly, like if you're not up to buying the book, like just comment down below what your issue is and I'd be happy to either comment back or make a video on it myself. Because um, I was in the pits of you know, marijuana dependency or addiction, whatever you want to call it. And it took me a long ass time to really figure out what the key breakthrough was for me. And I'm here to help you get that for yourself, whatever that is for you. Um, And yeah, so I hope you guys have a great day, guys. I hope this video gave you some value. And feel free to visit my website, gfsantos.com slash blog. Buy the book on Amazon, Marijuana Mindfulness. I'll have links down in the description. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and to subscribe to this channel and to like and comment down below and share it. Put it in your playlist. Um, And yeah, guys, that's it. Have a great day. Gabriel Santos. Peace.